In 1985, in Mexico City, deadly mistakes cost many rescuers their lives. In a matter of seconds, the capital of Mexico was plunged into chaos. The earthquake and aftershocks that rocked Mexico City were a major disaster. Hundreds of buildings were destroyed. Thousands of people killed. And hundreds more trapped. The wall fell on top of me. I tried to protect myself and a huge block came toward me. I tried to get out in 20 ways, but it was impossible. The only thing I saw was a horrible darkness. It took 26 hours for the rescuers to find me. Those hours seemed an eternity. For rescue workers, the challenge that faced them was daunting. I personally uh, never imagined that I would see or experience anything that I saw or experienced in Mexico City. And as I looked around in every direction, all I saw was gigantic buildings in a heap of rubble. Doug Kopp saw these scenes of devastation on television. With a small hammer, you can break that away and go to the He rushed to Mexico City to volunteer in the rescue efforts. He's been working disasters around the world ever since. One Doug Kopp went to Mexico and a completely different person left. I dropped everything I planned to do with my life and completely changed course. Despite the dedication of people like Kopp, many rescuers in Mexico paid a high price for their help. There was a lot of uncoordinated rescue efforts that took place in Mexico City. Many people died. Many rescuers or would-be rescuers were killed as a result of unsafe rescue operations. There was a problem of lack of people who had experience because up until the Mexico City earthquake, no international team really went anywhere to get any experience. 191 survivors were pulled from the rubble. As many as 100 rescuers were killed. We learned a lot from that particular event. In fact, it was the Mexico City earthquake that got us to refine the development of an urban search and rescue response system. 